Hey guys and welcome to another MBA vlog. Sorry for the mess back here. I'm actually converting one of my rooms in my house into a home office. And I am so excited to show you guys the home office because it's gonna look so nice in the end. But again, once it's done, I will do a full tour. But for now, you have to deal with the mess because I'm dealing with the mess too. But I did a very small setup just to do homework. Check this out. As you can see, I have my laptop here. It's plugged into this big screen right here. And this is how I'm doing homework and other stuff that I need to do. But yeah, this is what I have for now. Okay, so I just started a new class called the Digital Economy. And this is the class and it's highly important because you should be able to understand how the economy works, especially working in the business world. This class will go through legal influences, the Federal Reserve, international economies, global policies, and so much more. And this week has been very simple with this class. I already finished all the assignments, all the quizzes, the tests, the projects, everything that is needed for this week. And now I patiently wait until tomorrow until all the assignments are open up for week two. And I feel like such a nerd because all I want to do is just homework and projects. I just want to finish this class as quickly as possible so I can get to my next class, so on and so forth. And then finally earn my MBA. My previous class was called Leading Change. And this class was very fun because they help you provide interpersonal skills and self-awareness needed to motivate people in the workplace. And as you can see, I passed the class with an A. The projects were a little tough, but still I got through it. And if you're taking this class now, you'll get through it too. And here's another thing I wanna tell you guys. So I applied for a few jobs at the University of Phoenix. And to tell you the truth, I actually applied to five different positions. So far I've been denied from two of those jobs. And the good thing is that there's still a chance since I have three more offers that can happen still. And the reason I applied for those jobs is because I thought to myself, wouldn't it be so cool to be attending the University of Phoenix classes online and at the same time I could be working at the University of Phoenix. I guess one of the best parts is that most of these positions are 100% remote. Basically all the classes that I have for this MBA uh, program is all done online and it'd be great to do homework, finish the projects for the week, and then work. Still in the same chair while working so I can do school and work in this position right here. That would be so cool and that's why I applied for them. But yes, I will keep you guys updated on the positions at the University of Phoenix. And for my next MBA vlog, I will go more in detail on the positions I applied for, why I applied for them, and why I'm a good candidate for those positions. So this class, the Digital Economy, it will be the fifth class that I take at the University of Phoenix. I was told that the probation period was after four classes, so this fifth class would be the last one and I'd be out of probation. But then I contacted the University of Phoenix and one of the staff members told me that actually after your fifth class then your probation is over so that means that the sixth class that I take which will be in the next five weeks my probation will be over and I'm not too scared because all the classes that I've been taking so far I've received an A at the end I'm also gonna tell you guys a story and a little trick on how I'm passing all of my classes since I started college and I remember dropping out because I really sucked at class and I was just getting a bunch of D's a lot of F's I even got kicked out of the school district because my GPA was so low and then later on I went back to community college but I had to go to a different district and then I started passing my classes but there's a little trick and there's some tips on how to pass each of your classes no matter what I will totally show you guys also in another video because I want to go more in detail on how to pass your classes and that's why a lot of students do not go back to school or they just give up very easily but I feel like there's always a trick to everything. Okay, so that's for another video, right? So back to the University of Phoenix. Here's the great thing about the University of Phoenix is that the fact that they have 24-7 support. I'm going to show you the support that you get from the University of Phoenix right now. So on my Phoenix website, so once you're on your own portal, it's going to tell you the class that you are taking and it's going to tell you the date that you're actually taking this class and when it ends. And here's the cool thing. So down here to the bottom right, it's going to show you a live chat. And sometimes this robot, Phoebe, will tell you and just answer quick questions that you need. But if you click something else and keep typing in agent, she will give you a live representative. So yeah, if you keep typing in agent, she's gonna give you a live representative. You'll have to wait because sometimes there are more people trying to get support and there's only a limited amount of people there. And that's why I'm applying for jobs there because I would like to answer those questions as well since I've been asking a lot of questions there. But that's not one of the positions I applied for, but I wish that position was open. I would love to do that. But yes, so it will tell you, you have like two people ahead of you, whatever, whatever. 
Then finally, a live representative will start talking to you. You can ask them any question you want and they'll answer it for you. They're very good at that. And I will say one thing for sure. You know how some people say, there are no such thing as stupid questions. Well, guess what? I feel like I ask a lot of stupid questions on this chat thing. Not because I'm stupid. Well, I am stupid. But because, you know, I feel like a lot of my questions are like, ah, uh, more like common sense. But I just want to make sure. And I, I don't know what it is, but that's how I feel. There are no stupid questions unless I'm asking them. So just in case you didn't know about the University of Phoenix format of how it actually works online is that it's pretty much the same. Every single class that you take, at least this being my fifth class, they're all the same. So each week all the assignments will be opened and each week you're going to get a discussion where you're going to answer a question, you're going to answer to two of your classmates and then that's it for that assignment, right? And then you still have like your connect assignments which is like sometimes two to four that I've seen, uh, a couple quizzes, maybe a test or by, um, it could be either or or both and then you get one project so that those are the assignments for one week and then week two will start and then same thing again discussion connect assignments um test quiz either or or both and then the project again so the projects do take a little bit longer so what i do is basically work on it on monday or all day on sunday but still overall the projects are not that bad so the best benefit of the format at the university of phoenix and all these online classes is that you're able to manage around work life personal life as especially me doing youtube and everything else i can do everything all at once because of the format of these classes. You don't have to go to class obviously because it's online and these assignments are due all on Sunday or sometimes on Monday. So basically you have a whole week to finish these assignments and you know what they are ahead of time. And like I said, it's a good thing that you get all the support that you need 24 seven. Even the professors that have, I've had, they've all answered really quickly. But again, the classes are so straightforward that you don't even need to ask that many questions like I did. But yes, it's a good thing that I'm taking these classes because I am learning a lot and I feel like at the end, when I finally get my MBA, I'm going to feel so accomplished. All right, guys. Well, it is Sunday, so this means that I need to edit this video so I can post it. And at the same time, I have to finish the last of the homework that I need to do, which is one of the connect assignments that I should have done a long time ago, which was actually Monday. But I didn't have the time, but now I'm going to do it. And it doesn't take that long, so I think that's why I waited. Actually, I don't even know why it wasn't done, but whatever. We're going to finish it now. But yes, you'll be seeing progress on this class because I post every single Sunday for my MBA vlogs. And you're also going to be seeing my progress on my MBA program and I still want to say thank you to everybody who has been watching since MBA vlog number one and then all the way to the end you guys are coming to my graduation every single one of you all right guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos because I'll be posting all these videos for MBA program every single Sunday but I also post other vlogs so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow